I think our focus on quality and improvement succeeded because we framed the issue in terms of the things that the doctors and the nurses most cared about, which is to say taking really excellent care of patients. If we had come at it another direction, for example, trying to improve efficiency or saving money, it would not have been highly motivational. In this case, doctors and nurses are extremely well-intentioned people who want to alleviate human suffering caused by disease. They want to avoid the amount of harm that's caused to patients in the clinical settings. They want to be able to measure their results, feel pride in the work they've done, and know it created greater satisfaction for their patients. And I think it was a combination of those things that made it possible. I think the episode of the merger and essentially putting our institution into survival mode really helped to focus all of our clinical leaders to appreciate the importance of the fiscal integrity of the institution as core to each department's mission of excellence in teaching, research, and clinical care. I think eventually the clinical leaders really became not only endorsers of uh, the institution's priorities for quality, safety, and patient-centered care, but eventually became the champions of that. And I think that was really integral to bringing that mission to the bedside and allowing each care provider to really devote their time, their energy, their efforts to making care better for all of our patients here at the institution. So there was a deliberate focus from senior leadership, starting with Paul, that he ex expected that we would treat patients the way that we would treat a member of our family, so that every patient in that bed would be treated just as if we were to be treating our family members, and everyone got it. It made sense on a very fundamental level. Everyone understood it, and that's what we worked on, and that's what we kept focused on. So there's a bit of a can-do swagger around the institution at this point and a sense that we will face our challenges with innovation and that we will uh, see what happens as we innovate. If something works, we will continue to do it. If something doesn't work, we will stop doing it, learn from it, and decide what to do instead. And that environment, I think, has been a key element of our success as we've come out of those difficult years and really reached a point where we thrive, but we still are always seeking improvement seeking the ability to innovate and rewarding an environment where, where change is embraced. The annual operating plan was introduced um, sometime in the early 2000s and it was a very simple roadmap that was introduced with three components and the components make sense to anyone who works in um, healthcare. One is we, we needed to set a financial target that was visible to all of the employees so that we would know what, what were we trying to do in terms of financial gain. The second had to do with a stating a goal around the patient experience, and there's, it's very hard to argue with the patient experience, that we want our patients to be satisfied with the care we deliver. And the other part of that goal is that we want our employees to be satisfied. And then the third goal was simply that we wanted to be the best at what we do. We wanted to deliver the highest quality of care. So when that was introduced, it provided a um, roadmap for all of the leaders in the organization and then for all of the employees so that instead of being scattered and focused on many things, there were three main things that we were focused on. And for each of those goals, there was um, specific metrics and targets that we knew we had to meet each year. And that process um, has continued since we've introduced it and been a very nice roadmap for us. I like to think that the approach we've taken here could work anywhere. If, if you start off looking at the problem in terms of the underlying values of the people who work in your hospital or other clinical setting and adding to that some training and process improvement so that they can feel great satisfaction in that field as well as the traditional medical fields, I think you can do it anywhere.